Hi. In this video we will show you the steps to configure a new Active Directory Forest using Azure Portal for Windows 2016 Server. First, we create a separate resource group through Azure Portal for Active Directory VMs. Provide the resource group name, subscription and group location. Then click on Create button. New resource group created successfully. Next, we have created a new virtual network in 10.0.0.0 flash 16 address space. New virtual network was created successfully. Click on More Services link and search for Availability Set Service. Provide the name, subscription, resource group and location details. We use the default fault domains as to and update domains as 5. Also. We are using classic storage type for this demo. Verify the provide details and click on create button. The new availability set was created successfully. Create a new virtual machine with Windows 2016 OS using virtual machines service link. Provide the basic informations and make sure that you have select the correct resource group and click OK. Select the VM size. Select No for using managed disks. Then select the newly created availability set. Provide the storage account, network, subnet. Public IP address, network security group details and click OK. Verify the selected settings in the summary screen and click on Create button to spin up a new VM in Azure. It will take few minutes to complete the operation. Once it's completed, we need to assign static IP address for this VM. Click on Virtual Network Subnet option. Select the AZDC1 network interface under Connected Devices section then click on IP Configuration link. And click on it Config1 option. Under Private IP Address Settings, select the Assignment as Static and click on Save button. Click on the Virtual Network link and select our ABBNET. Click on DNS Servers link. Select the custom option and provide the DC1 static private IP address and click on Save button. Login into DC1 VM through RDP using public IP address. From the Server Manager Snap In, click on Add Roles and Features option. Select the Active Directory Domain Services checkbox to install the Active Directory services on this VM. Follow the wizard and click on Install button to start the installation process. It will take few minutes to complete the installation. Click on Close button to close the wizard. Click on the Notifications link and select the Promote this server to a Domain Controller option. Select the Add a new forest option and provide a domain name.
leave the default options and provide the directory service restore mode password. Verify the net BIOS name and click Next. We are using C drive to store the active directory related files for this demo. Review the selected options and click Next. It will perform the prerequisites check before promoting the server to domain controller. Select the install option to start the installation. The server will be rebooted to complete the operation. We can now log into the VM DC1 using as domain.local. Follow the same steps which you performed earlier and create DC to VM. Make sure that you have selected correct virtual network and availability set during creation process. It will take few minutes to complete the VM provisioning. Once it's completed change the private IP assignment for easy DC to VM as static. Also, add the DC to VM static IP as secondary DNS in the ABVNET virtual network. Login into DC to VM and install the Active Directory domain services through Roles and Features Wizard. From the notification window click on promote this server to a domain controller option. Select the add domain controller to an existing domain option and provide your existing domain name and click the select button. Provide the domain controller login credentials and click OK. Select the domain from the pop up box and click OK. Leave as default and provide a password for directory service restore mode. Select the replicate from any domain controller. Active directory files on C drive and review the selected options. It will perform the prerequisites check and click install to start the installation. It will take several minutes and server will reboot to complete the installation. Once the server is back online, 
we can log in into DC2 server using as domain.local. Thanks for watching this video.